Hey Paleo peeps, this is Rachel from Primal for Life. Like I said, we're definitely cooking things up here today with the big blizzard we had uh, last night and early this morning. So today I am starting with a recipe that's in the Food Lovers Make It Paleo book, um, mashed turnips and parsnips. But um, parsnips actually are a veggie that has a little bit more carb content. So for now, for me, I am trying to avoid those higher carb veggies. Um, so I am replacing it with cauliflower. So I've cut up our turnips and our um, cauliflower and I'm about to get this ready to go into the oven. There's also some onion in here. Um, and the recipe itself just calls for olive oil and salt pepper, but I'm a big fan of rosemary, so we added some uh, dried rosemary in there. And we're gonna drizzle it with our olive oil, which is uh, about three tablespoons. And then um, I just could do it with my hands. It's a lot easier. So we're gonna toss it up with our hands and uh, try to get everything coated with the oil. Get all those spices blended in with the salt and pepper and the uh, rosemary. I mean, you can pretty much add whatever spices you want. But this is, for us, what I normally do, kind of start with a basic recipe, and that's why I said the paleo, uh, make a paleo book is fantastic. And then I modify for what I feel like cooking that day or for what maybe possibly we can't eat um, and so on and, and try to come up with our own little uh, concoctions. So what we need to do now is cook this in the oven for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. And then from there, um, we'll show you the next step into getting it mashed. So again, this is from derived from the Make It Paleo book, which you can buy um, on Julian Bakery's website. Okay, we're checking on our roasted cauliflower turnip and onions, looking good. Um, we've got about 10 more minutes for them to roast. I'm just gonna stir them up a little bit. You want them to get some nice color because that really adds some great flavor um, when you mash them. So smell the rosemary. It smells so good. Okay, so we did that. Get them all in a single layer again. They're getting soft. And we'll put those back in for about 10 more minutes to fully roast them. So now our cauliflower turnip onions are done roasting and we're gonna now puree them or mash them. So we're gonna put the ingredients into our food processor. And you can do this warm, as you can see, I just took these out of the oven so it's still hot. Get them in there. It's getting a little bit full now, so I'm gonna start blending this up and come back for the rest. pulsing it to try to incorporate it in the So um, we were blending it up and I stopped it, wanted to just scrape down the sides, you know, try to get some of the chunkier pieces down to the bottom. Um, really, the level that you blend it to is how smooth or how chunky you want it. So I'm going to blend mine a little bit more. I'm not going to get a really smooth consistency to mine. I like ours a little bit chunkier. So we're going to start this up again. And now that should be good to go. All right. Yep. That's the consistency. I like it. Um, like I said, we're not going to have this till tomorrow. Uh, so what I will do is tomorrow I will put this in a saucepan and actually add probably some either olive oil or butter and um, just heat it up. So hope everyone uh, enjoyed the recipe and goes out and buys the cookbook, Make It Paleo on julianbakery.com.